Now we will check this out. Depending on where you're located in Jamaica, every community is supposed to have that one person where you can definitely identify, say, I say, yes, I must do that. I must judge that. Especially the countryside. If you don't have one of these persons in your community, that means that you're not Jamaican. <laughs> Especially when the party or the dead yard just start and them junk already. Uh, people, tell me if you have one of these persons in your community. Now people when the party or the dead yard kick off and the bands are play or the old licks are play and you don't have a man who in there with junk already and him start dancing at your community that means that you're definitely not from Jamaica you're totally from a different place Why don't you Why not go change your funeral clothes man? Farting at him start moving If you can't buy your uncle a drink, me and you is nothing Don't call me uncle and you don't call me nephew When the junk bad Don't go ahead man I go, me I go Hey, look here. I'm 85 years now, me and drive. No boy can't drive like me. Hey, look here, man. Right now, me have over 10 acres out of the city. No, people, this is so accurate. Just name that one person in your community because you have to have that one person. Especially if them see you and them just start talking up in your face with all the rum breath. And them boss all a one ugly point and you feel all awkward. And you want to live and... <laughs> I mean, people, Jamaicans are the best. <laughs> Anyhow, let me tell you this, man. I don't believe in a me and no woman at all for pay, no bills at all 50 50. Because back then, when we were growing up in the roads, so, so grandparents and my father do it themselves. I mean, I want a man to tell me about things on time change. Don't tell me some things on time change. A man supposed to can provide and do things himself. You have a woman in your house basically and share for your parents with your 50 50. It's like you're there with your roommate. It's like you have sex with your roommate, brother. So she can bring, bring her money in your house. I don't believe in that. I suppose she can do it for myself. I don't believe in that. No woman do nothing at all for me. If she want to do it, it's a bonus. But me believe in that to do it for myself. Not for them money nowadays are some weak jelly butt man. When you sit down and wait for a woman to do it for no. Why if you say the woman is so empowered and have more attack down nowadays? Can I sit down and wait for a woman to do it for you to do it for yourself? And then they don't come up and I saw a woman want equality and want power because of uno weak jelly but nowadays modern days man. Uno are the mas uno are the feminine man them instead of the masculine man them. Now people, this question has been trending all over Jamaica and social media and the question is, should a man go 50-50 with a woman as in the man pay half of the bill, the woman pay half of the bills, you know, rent, light, food, etc. Now a lot of persons are say a man and a woman should go 50-50 if they are in a relationship. Then you have the people where say a man should be the head of the household and you know, basically cover all of the bills, the food, the rent, everything, plus give the woman a thing on top of it. Now, people, living in Jamaica, realistically, before me even said this, let me ask you, do you think that a man should go 50-50 with a woman? Let me know in the comment section, but realistically, you know, thinking about it, here in Jamaica, if you're not a scammer or you're in a high-profile job, remember, the minimum wage is $13,000. So it would be literally impossible for an average Jamaican to go 50-50 with a woman. I mean, a man should be the head of the household. I mean, I said, I'm going to go 50-50. But, I know, said, the woman have to contribute if you are average Jamaican, realistically speaking. But, people, do share your thoughts on that in the comment section. Now people with Vibes Cartel case in front of the Privy Council and they have the final say in which the entertainer would be retried, set free or he would be found guilty again. A lot of media personalities or a lot of persons has their own interpretation and their own opinion on what will happen. Now people recently selector Tony Mataran was doing a live in which he stated that in his own interpretation of what the Privy Council is, he is basically saying that no, in the Privy Council, Vibes Cartel will never be freed. People, take a listen to this. A stupidity. In a my mind. And anybody with a Jamaican like me will have sense. We're not in a fully dunce. Because me are the one out of the ten, we're not, we're not dunce. So out of every ten Jamaican, one are we bright. One are we have sense. You see? Um, to to possibly present 
new evidence or whatever. I think it's just an appeal. But if it's just an appeal, then as much as Muda said free the world boss and make the world boss come on road, you can also say that will never happen based on my knowledge. Now, people, of course, Tony Mataran had a lot of backlash from Vibes Cartel fans. I tell him to go one side because, of course, that would be bad news for the entertainer and also his fans, well-wishers and family. Now, people, I am not going to give my personal opinion because I don't know nothing about the Privy Council. I have no knowledge in law more than the basic way. You know, we don't know what the decision will be. And until that decision is final, we will never know. But people, do share your thoughts in the comment section. And people, since we are on the topic of law, there is a video circulating the internet of a female who went to a prison to visit her baby father here in Jamaica. And she was caught smuggling some illegal contraband inside his food. The police then video everything, show the woman, the woman even have the child. So the video is a kind of, you know, a kind of sad video in a way. And then again, I mean like a baby is involved, you know, so she go get arrested. <sighs> People, take a look at this. Baby mother arrested today for smuggling contraband in lockup at Constant Spring Police Station. Contraband. Contraband. Just like how she go past him. Contraband. Come with a baby. She's pregnant. Can she come here? With contraband. With contraband. Yeah. It's smuggled. It's smuggled. Yeah. Double, double, double plate. See there? Contrabands. 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 Pregnant and come with baby and try to do it. Contrabands. In a cell, she go for a news. Say the police then this and that. See there? Well, let's chop up and seal up. Mm. That is it. Mm hmm. Well, you shall contraband your way to court. Now, people, why I say this is a sad video because the father is already in prison and now the mother is going to be arrested. So now, people, I don't care about the two of them, you know. I don't care about the father and the mother, you know. I just care about the child because <sighs> you don't see the man, they are prison already. And the man that probably influenced the woman, say, yo, bring in them for me and my dogs, you know, because I saw the thing set on... I mean, now you see what just happened and people, even though it is sad, you cannot even sorry for them because once you do the crime, you do the time. But people, do share your thoughts in the comment section. Hey, good morning folks. They again. A big show a girl this switch this morning not to PMP. See the street. The girl carry the street to PMP. Tell me now, from me at 18, me I work for Labour Party. I'm me at 42 now. I'm never get not even an icy man from them. Everything them I give me, I get down to rice. A rice make me switch this morning, people. Rice. Simple as rice. I'm telling you that. Now, people, this female is stating that she was a JLP supporter and she never get nothing from the JLP. So, Rice did a giveaway and she not get none of the rice. So, she switched because she not get none of the rice. <laughs> now, people, what are your thoughts on that? Would you switch because you don't get the pound of rice or the three pound of rice? So make me know in the comment section. But then again, you have the die-hearted people like this female. And they have a me. And if a one labor I have, and a me. Me a die hearted as in let me not sleep the night. Because me be a police station early, I wash everything. Me not sleep and me first among X. Then me start work. When that? The 26th of February election, the 8th of election. So people, you have the switch of them, you have the die arsed people, and then you have the ones I would call the smart ones. Like this young man who is asking the Prime Minister to buy him a cow. To Honorable Andrew Hollis, a.k.a. Brogad. A.k.a. Andrew Hollis, a.k.a. Brogad. Yeah, you don't know. My name is Eric Campbell. Yeah, man. Yeah, I am here today. 
you know just the asking for a little face small favor for you you know um me i beg you one little cow you get me you want to you can breed up you know and, and have other cow and them something you know as you can see me have grass all about can tie him in a grass me have bush all about can carry him yeah man me i beg me i beg the cow yeah yeah, my Prime Minister, I know you can do it. The Bible says, Ask and you shall be given, and seek and you shall be fine, and knock and you do it shall be open. I know you can do it for me. You know? I don't watch others, but I know you can do it for others. I know you can come you can come through for me too. You can do like a small matter there for me, God, they bless you and cast his wonderful face. You shine up on you and grant you peace, joy, and happiness. I say this from my heart, because my heart goes out, you know? Yeah, man, sometimes I try, but it now come up to. The standard we need to come up to certain way to get to a more certain way. So I beg you if you can give me a little start with the cow. Now people check this out. Recently international female dancehall superstar. Again, I don't know if Shensia is a dancehall artist, but I'm going to say dancehall superstar Shensia. She was doing a live in which she explained how she actually did that song hit and run that it was actually a real thing she hit to a man and run well people take a listen to this you know i was single for so long and i'm really just tired for use the rose between me and you it's just like yeah the rose nice and not the rose my, my like a toy right <laughs> not the rose because i'm not too like the rose but i only like the rose on tiktok but I did I get tired of the thing? I'm just I say, yo, I'm single for way too long. And I'm a person like when I'm single, I'm not gonna do the run up and down, up and down, I hop from dick to dick. I don't do stuff like that, right? Especially like me, I really, really like you. So my my end up link one of the G them when we used to talk to when I know I say never disappoint me in the bedroom yet. You know? And he been like chasing me for years. I just never did pay him no mind until you know when we did get single and lonely at a little time and we did just make a little call and so and you know we start talk up back and something just have conversation because you know like we can't just jump and say so boom so have some conversations and thing and link up and do 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 and then after that it's just like him start a uh, text every day and I do and I say yo like we already been through this and like it's a reason why we did break up like me not look for come back we just a look for come get a little eat and run <laughs> <laughs> don't tell my mommy <laughs> yeah when you see the light you guys eat me frat up frat but, up but you know I just you know desperate times call for desperate measures the fuck don't judge me <laughs> and then i always judge me too don't judge me i never knew i never knew body count <laughs> well, I'm <laughs> and it was nice it was nice but i never want to engage back in that one well my body count is start to it but i didn't want to engage back into the our relationship with him or with nobody or no ex and people we don't want to make the video too lengthy and boring so i'm going to leave you with this video of this police officer actually giving some advice and some inspiration people i'm out everybody and your friend and everybody you must call friend and the sooner you know this the better off you will be your co-workers are not your friends you went to work to make money not to make friends be careful how you're running your mouth and telling people your business because you might be telling the devil about your next plan. Now because people laugh up, laugh up and giggle, giggle with you means that they are your friends. Judas kiss Jesus, take sleep and mark death. The harms of flesh will fail you. Learn to discern your Judases again and everybody are your friend. And the sooner you know this, the better off you'll be.